I went to North Sydney Girls High School. For year 12, um, I did extension 2 maths, extension English, extension Japanese and physics. My top preference right now is a double major for international global studies and linguistics with a language minor. I like all my subjects actually. Um, I think I was pretty lucky with that. I chose physics in, for the preliminary course as a bit of a like to fill up my units. I, I ended up really enjoying it, so that was probably one of my favourite subjects this year. At the start of the course, I struggled a lot with extension to maths, which was unexpected because maths is one of my best subjects going into the HSC course, like for the entirety of high school and primary school. I picked it back up. Um, the first two terms were bad <laughs> with trials and like the later um, the later assessment task, HFC, um, it went pretty smoothly. So I'm like a chronic procrastinator, <laughs> which, um, so for me, timetables are really good. They're good if I section out my time, my priorities. I kept a bullet journal throughout um, year 12 and a bit of year 11. That really helped me get my priorities and um, I experimented with different layouts, you know, timetables, um, moving tasks like from one day to another. It was good because I could kind of section out um, little parts of an assessment task, um, especially for um, big projects like depth studies. I think having a timetable and sectioning out each section really helped me get a move on because otherwise I would be sitting there a week before <laughs> like it was due and I would what was that? and I'd just be like what am I doing? After I came out of speaking exams that was when I started like pushing for the written exams because speaking exams are really hard because it's all about how well you can do on the day so there's a lot of practice trial and error involved. So I had less time than other people to start preparing for the written exams. There was a lot of just sitting down and writing essays out, doing questions. F for me personally, I can't, I'm like too hyper, so I can't sit down and do a three hour paper at once. It's like one of those things I force myself to do in the actual exam, but I can't really do it outside of the exam. So um, I do like half papers, maths and physics specifically. Um, there wasn't really any benefit for me um, personally to do maybe for extension truth maybe there was or extension maths there wasn't really much benefit for me in doing like the first part of the paper because it was very repetitive and there wasn't much new content the focus was at the end of the paper like how do you do the question 16 in extension 2 paper or how do you do that 10 marker 9 marker in a physics paper so there was a lot of practice specific targeting specific areas um, and physics when there were like because there's so much content getting in to make sure that so if I'm familiar with this module, I won't spend too much time on it, I'll move on to the next module. So there was, even though people were like, do a lot of papers, I found that taking what's beneficial for you from the paper is the most important part for me. I think I could have used the summer holidays a little bit better, and I think the way I could have done it is to actually give myself less to do in a day, because I think I tried to overachieve with that section of time and it didn't really work out because it was kind of like I'd wake up and I'd be like, okay, so I have all of this to do. Let's just push it off a bit. It's like when you have a big project. I think I would have like probably been a bit more realistic with what I could have done because that's what I ended up approaching with the rest of my holiday studies. Year 12 was stressful but nowhere as stressful as I thought it would be. As long as you keep up some of your relationships, all of them if possible. It was important to have kept up with my friends, especially with lockdown because otherwise there was too much stress going on. My first impression of talent was colourful just because it was like a new thing for me. I came to talent right and I was just like I thought colourful and I was just like, wow, people actually put effort into making a shooting centre look good. Like that was a whole new concept for me. And then the whole idea of having less people in a class was pretty, also pretty novel. It was better for me because one of my pet peeves um, is like having too many people in a classroom. With talent, it felt like a classroom at school, sort of, but also there were less people in those classrooms, which is good for me because you can ask the mentors more questions. It's also a bit more candid, I feel like. It's not the same as going in there, doing an exam and coming out and making that feel like a rinse and repeat kind of thing. You have a chance to interact with them. It's an, it's a candid um, thing where they make, and they make the information as accessible. It's like, I know that a lot of them kind of um, specialize or study in these subjects at university. So I think it's actually pretty cool that the way they teach makes the information accessible to high school students, because I know there's a big jump in sophistication. I did the tutorials um, mainly for hand in tasks because for exams, um, well talent has the um, end of term exam and the lead up to HSC where they did the exams for us um, in class, which was good. But it's good to have a second set of opinions, especially for someone um, who's like specialized in this field and they're like, okay, this is the necessary, necessary information you need. So that was really helpful for me. It's like tutoring, but without stress. I didn't know that was possible, but apparently it is.